I welcome you all here with me on another magical day. It's a miracle. Today is a miracle because we're all here and we're breathing, we're alive. Our technology allows us to see each other and connect with one another. This is a miracle. We get to see each other and we, through this union of being together quiet in meditation, in satsang, a transmission takes place. And we all connect into the unified field of oneness. The quantum field of oneness, which is here, and it's available for us to access it. And in that access, we recognize that our hearts are connected with each other. And we begin to feel the presence, you feel the love that is here. Love that is here. And this love that comes from me, it comes from you. You're the very source of this love, of the presence, of the beauty. That for that, you have to sometimes, you really don't have to do anything for something you already have, but sometimes you need to go beyond all this chatter and all these stories and all the stuff that is happening to recognize what you already have and to recognize that of your special abilities, of the powers that have been entrusted to you, of all the gifts that you have, right now in this moment, the gifts that you were born with, that indeed you have healing abilities, you have the power for being the channel and healing happen through, through you. You can do that, you have done that in your life. You have psychic abilities, you have powerful intuition, and you have many, many abilities that are already built inside you and you were born with them. And indeed, the more you pay attention and you recognize yourself, the more you realize that you're really not a small, itty bitty human being that's needy and lost. That's not really who you are. You're much, much bigger than that much, much more expansive. And you have so much, so many different things, so many different talents that you already possess. And you use some of them, and some you're not aware of them. Maybe you use them unconsciously. But we somehow been brainwashed, we've been trained, programmed to believe that we're small and we're not adequate and we're not good enough and we're not worthy enough. That's deeply ingrained in our psyche that we're needy, we're not complete. It's a feeling that we're not complete which indeed is not true because you are complete already as you are right now. You are whole and you're not separated from the divine being, from God, from the source, from the creator, from the grand spirit. There is no separation. And the fact that we're breathing and we're alive, we're thinking, we're capable of movements. You're capable to eat something and digest it. You're capable to sleep, to walk, to think, 
to make decisions, to give love, to receive love. The fact that you're capable to sing, to write things, to create art, and share it with others. And most importantly, to be able to be caring and to give love and receive love. That by itself, to me, it's very clear that you are a divine being. Only the divine beings are capable of doing these things. Only those who come from the land of God, from the land of love, are capable of doing the kind of things that you are doing. So I would like us all to pay a little bit of attention in our own abilities of how much we can do, how much we're capable to give and create, instead of looking at ourselves as incomplete, inadequate, and not good enough, or going into this place, giving into this loneliness thinking or feeling that we're lonely, we're left out, we're not good enough. Or more than that. But a part of the coming to the true powers that's been entrusted in you and to recognize that is there are different elements, obstacles also ahead of us of that falling into the ego and giving into this egoic part of us as sense of being separated or of a sense of, you know, as one part, one is that I'm encouraging you to recognize who you are but also in, in the meantime, as you're recognizing who you are and your greatness and the amazing things about you is also not falling into this trap of the me, 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 or look at me, look at me, or I'm better than you, or look, look at me, my abilities as a, as a personal, uh, in a way that, um, mistaken for this false sense of being in a way that comes with the crash means that I am, you know, egoically I'm special, I'm special, I'm better than everybody else, but then in the same time can easily fall into this uh, trap of crashing down and, ex and making our egos really huge, which what I'm referring to is to recognize the qualities that we have inherited by being born and by living and especially coming into the world of spirit of seeing your qualities and seeing these qualities in everyone else as well and acknowledging your own qualities and your own beauty and acknowledging it in others as well recognizing it and some of us we like the way existence is the way life is that Maybe in some area you're better and, and more talented in comparison to your best friend or your sister or your brother. And in some other areas, your brother or sister is better than you. 